I was over in China, I discovered who I am. Who are you is a very difficult question. Usually, how people perceive who you are is what you do for a living. Right now, you're all students, so people see you as students. But eventually, you're going to get a job, and people are going to see you for that job. For example, we all know Joe. Joe the plumber, right? That's who he is. It's what he does. Okay, that's who he is. Uh, sometimes what you did can supersede what you do. One event in your past can be who you are. For example, OJ. <laughs> Nobody talks about football anymore, right? <laughs> Here's another example. If I work at a big business and they have a Christmas party and I'm Steve from accounting and I show up and everybody's like, hey, it's Steve from accounting. I'm like, hey. But I go to that party and I shit my pants. I'm not known as Steve from accounting anymore. <laughs> so here's the point. When I was over in China, I discovered I'm an American. That's what I am. You know, because when I was over in China, people were like, hey, what are you? What are you? What are you? I was like, oh, I'm American. And it felt great. I'm American. Then I come back to America. People are like, so like your face with your eyes. What the hell happened to you? <laughs> Oh, I'm Korean and I'm Irish. Oh, welcome. Welcome. I live here. What do you mean, welcome? <laughs> That's when I start saying to myself, well, if I say I'm American over in China, why don't I say I'm American when I'm here in America? That's what I say from now on. People are like, hey, what's your background? I'm American. Hey, where are your parents from? I'm American. I'm tired of us trying to separate ourselves from ourselves within ourselves. African American, Asian American, Latin American. Now with it from now on. We're all here. Let's just all be American. <laughs> Unless you're Mexican. <laughs> Joking. I'm serious. I'm serious. No, I'm joking. We're the only country that does that. Asian American, Latin American. Have you ever met an African Canadian? <laughs> All these terms we have for each other, it's so nauseating. Sometimes white people come up with terms for everybody else. People of color, minorities. Well, there's an opposite to everything. Do I call white people people devoid of color? <laughs> High transparent people? <laughs> Do I walk through a mall? Come here, look inside a Banana Republic. Look at all the majorities inside of there. <laughs> so uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, I might be Asian American. Some of y'all might be African American, but white people are just white. Why? Because you're the most messed up of all of us. <laughs> it's so hard to say what you really are. Ask anybody who's white. Hey, what are you? I'm white. No, seriously, what are you? German, Russian, Polish, Irish, Swedish, Italian, Dutch. You're white. I get it. That's a lot of white. Stop, please. Wait. We refer to each other's colors. Red, brown, white, black. Black people was like, black ain't the color of my skin. Keep black. It's cool. Asian, yellow. <laughs> yellow! Not a cool color. That's like the difference between to being told you got heart or you got pizzazz. I know this, there's only two races in this country, just two, white and black, that's it. Turn on your TV all day long, all you see are white and black people. No Asians, Middle Easterns, Mexicans, Latins, no, just white and black people. Watch commercials. White guy, black guy, let's get a turtle. Black guy, white guy, let's get some Budweiser. White guy, black guy, let's go to Taco Bell. You couldn't put a Mexican in the Taco Bell commercial? <laughs> Make a run for the border, they know how. <laughs> Holidays. White people get some celebrated every month. You get a holiday. Black people. Black History Month. Oh, it's the shortest month of the year. Boo hoo, at least you've got one. Mexicans only get one day. Cinco de Mayo. What do Asians have? Exactly. Nothing. What do we got to wait? A Jackie Chan movie to come out? Oh, please rush hour four. It should be that way, though. It's a demographics. It's a population. Number one in this country, whites. 60 to 70 percent of the population. Number two, Latins, Mexicans, 14 percent. Number three, African Americans, 13 percent. Number four, Asians are 4 percent of the population. Now, African Americans are 13 percent of the population. Always complain. We want equality. We want equality. You know why I never hear Asians bitching about equality? We're good at math. <laughs> These are facts, people. <laughs> Anybody think stereotyping people is wrong? No! I don't either. I had a conversation the other day with my friend. I was like, oh man, black people are good at basketball. Oh, you shouldn't say that. Why not? Black people are incredible at basketball. It's a compliment. Turn on the TV. You see black people playing. The white guys are on the bench. Even if you have a black and white TV, you can still tell who the good guys are. Basketball. Why is that bad to say? It's a, it's a nice thing. If Asians are coming over my house, I'm cooking rice. I'm 
I'm so sick of people being PC. Oh, you shouldn't say it. You should. You know, I dated this PC girl one, once. And, and, you know, we're walking home one day. I saw a dude that looked like Freddy Krueger. I'm like, we should get out of here. She's like, well, why? Maybe that's just the burn victim that likes Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch.